All right, continuing on from last video, we're gonna add towers in this video. So uh, to get started, we're going to add a, I believe it's just a, a regular node, yep. We're gonna add a node 3D. This is gonna be the tower container, so let's call it that. Tower, what do I call it in my reference? Let's call it towers. And then let's create the tower. So to do that, we're gonna create a node. It's gonna be a, I think, kinematic. Kin, uh, ooh, did they change the name? Let's search a body, uh, static body. Yeah, that's the one we want because <laughs> it doesn't move. So we're going to use a static body. Um, let me search up the name of the cannon. I think it's just called cannon. Yeah. Uh, if we search up weapon, we should find a bunch of uh, weapons. So we have a weapon barista or ballista blaster, etc. Uh, I'm going to use cannon just like my reference. So this is going to be the mesh that we use. Um, we're going to save this as tower. Let's go to our model here and let's create a new folder, call it tower. And then let's save this here. So now let's add, let's rename that to tower. And we're going to have to add a few things. So the first thing we're going to have to add is a body. Um, so I think is it going to be soft body. No, it's going to be collision body. Where is that? Uh, we'll just add it from here. Collision body shape. And then let's add a, this one doesn't matter too much because it doesn't collide with anything. So we'll just give it a cylinder and then kind of, ooh, why can't I edit it? Hello. Can I edit, please? Okay. Let's uh let's give it something else. Let's give it a box. Where is it? And let's turn off auto snap. So let's do that. And then whoops. We'll move that up just slightly uh, so it kind of fits. It doesn't really matter unless you want to do something your, on your own, but uh, this doesn't really collide with anything. It's just there um, because it's also static, so it won't even be moving unless you add gravity, but that's up to you. Anyways, uh, let's add an area 3D, not 2D, and let's duplicate the collision. And in here, we're going to make this, we're going to reset this, and we're going to give it a sphere and we're going to basically just make the sphere as big as you want um it doesn't really matter how the size realistically as long as it's big enough so that it can detect the mobs and so let's actually rename this to mob detector because that's what it is and let's give this a script i'm not going to have it be built in it's going to be regular script and what we're going to do is i'm going to connect the what do i use i use body body entered I usually use body entered. Um, if you don't know what body entered is, um, I would suggest you watch my other videos. I explain it in depth quite a bit, um, but I'm not gonna explain code too much. If you want an explanation of the code, I would suggest you go watch the 2D series. Um, in the 3D series, I'm gonna be focusing a bit more on just making the 3D stuff and the um, implements of that. Okay, so now we have a mob detector that connects to our tower script. And in here, all we're gonna do is do, do, do. I'm going to copy this code and this code is literally from the 2D series. So again, if you want to understand this code, go to the 2D series and check that out. Um, I'm just going to copy the code for this as well. We have a bunch of variables. Um, again, if you guys want to check out the 2D series or if you want to, an explanation of the code, check out the 2D series. I explain it quite a bit in depth. So. Um, here, as you can see, we need a bullet. So let's make a bullet. We need we need to actually be able to shoot something. So let's uh, make a bullet for our tower. So to make a bullet, we're going to need to make a body, but it's going to be a not a, uh, a static body. It's going to be a character body because this is going to be moving towards other bodies. So this is going to be a bullet. Let's save this and put it here. And just so we don't err in here, let's reload that bullet by going to towers, go to bullet, drag that in, save, and let's add a script for our bullet. And we're not gonna have a template, we're just gonna create a thing. And in here, this one should be relatively easy. I'm just going to copy paste this code. Again, this is from the 2D series, it's it's exact same code. So nothing has changed, I believe. Um, if something does change, I will let you know. But for now, this is the exact same code. I explain it in depth on the 2D series, so definitely check that out if you haven't already. Um, yeah, that's it. So uh, I think the body health, let's comment that out for now um, because I think that might error. But uh, everything else, UFO in body name um, because our mob should be ufo yeah so ufo and do 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 the bullet will is going to need well 
a bullet shape. So let's give it that. Uh, let's do that by first adding a collision shape and let's give it a sphere. So let's go here and give it a sphere or a capsule, sorry. And then let's give it a um, body and we're gonna draw one in the game. So we're gonna do that by using the, what do I use? I use mesh, mesh. 3D and then in here we can go to mesh and we can just give it a capsule and let's rotate all of this whoops um, actually let me double check yeah actually let's add a 3D before we rotate so um, before I rotate anything because this is upwards I want to rotate it so that it's this way um, before I do that I'm going to add the area and rotate everything together so let's do that let's add the area 3D this is going to be for the collision as you might be able to tell Let's give it a sphere. Uh, let's give it a capsule actually. And let's make it slightly bigger because we want this bullet to be able to, to detect. If it's not bigger, then it won't be able to detect anything else that touches it just because that's how the uh, Godot works. So let's add this. So we actually connect this. And whoops, I, I use default to 3D just by on habit. So now let's select all of this by control. So if you want to select all the nodes, you can click with the first one, hold shift and select the last one. And now what we can do is go to the inspector, go to transform and rotate. I think it's ooh, not that one. Uh, Z, yes, we're going to rotate Z by 90. So we're just going to type in 90. All right. So now we have a proper bullet that, that actually, you know, is a bullet. Um, I think, don't think this one was transformed, was it? Ooh. Why is it upwards then? That's weird. No. Oh. oh, interesting. Yeah, okay. That's interesting actually. Okay, so I guess we don't transform the collision shape. Oh, because this one is transformed. That's funny. I actually always forget about that. So just transform these one, these three and not the collision shape. Otherwise, yeah, that happens. Okay, so we've created the bullet. We go back to the tower. The tower will fire the bullet if something does enter it um let's uh check a bit more things okay so in the tower we're also going to need the process function this is again this is from the 2d series so if you don't understand what's going on check it out um update powers we're gonna i think comment that out because we don't have that Ooh, no yeah we just don't even have that in the 2d series so uh, we're gonna ignore that as well and lastly we're gonna need a shoot function so we're gonna have to actually be able to shoot the bullet once uh something does happen so i think oh no it'll be whoops it'll be right here on this line so after all this we shoot and it'll create a bullet and go towards whatever thing it was looking at okay so let's test this out so let's go to the 3d let's create or add our tower so let's add it here let's put it in the tower so that it doesn't air and now we should be able to let's move this a little bit sure we'll add it right there so let's play and see what happens let's see if we get any errors Ooh, an error already very cool. Okay, so I probably, oh, almost forgot. We need a bullet container. Okay, this one I'll explain. We need a node or a bullet container. However, this one's going to be a regular node. It's going to be a base class node because it's not going to be 3D or 2D. Why? Because 2D and 3D have uh, transform. This one does not. We need this node to not have uh, a transform. Let me rename that to bullet container. So here, uh, we're going to be adding it to the bullet container and freeing them and whatever. And you can read the code, understand it. If you don't understand it, watch the other video. I definitely recommend that. Okay, let's play this and see what we get. Okay, so here are the towers or the thingies. And we get an error already. Oh my gosh. Okay, global position. Okay, let's see what we're missing. Boom, boom, boom. Ah, we need to add an aim to the tower. So let's do that. Let's add an aim uh, called marker. Marker 3D. It used to be called position 2D. We'll add it up over here. We'll call it aim. And then for this guy, I'll just move it to the tip of the tower so that it's it kind of looks like it's coming out of the, the tower itself. Okay, let's try one more time. Whoa, that's a big-ass bullet. It kind of works. It's okay for now. We'll uh, continue on for kind of, you know, making sure this works a bit more properly in the next video. So uh, I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you did, hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.